Hey guys, this is your reading for the 13th through the 21st. This reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Oh, okay, cards sliding all over the freaking place. Let's see. Please give me a message for Virgo. What's going on with Virgo? What's going on with Virgo this upcoming week? What's going on with Virgo? Knight of Swords. You're speaking out. It's like you're not allowing um, any situations to shut you down, to keep you hushed. You will be seen. You will be heard is what I'm hearing here. Wanting to tell somebody exactly what's on your mind. That Aquarius energy is crossing my Virgos. The Hermit. The Hermit. I think what's challenging you is to really figure out what you need to say. What you want to say. What is it that you're trying to get across? What is it that you're trying to articulate? That is your energy there. Articulate what it is that you are wanting to say. But you need to get it together. Because I'm feeling like this, this rush to say something. This rush to do something. But I think that needs to be quieted a little bit. Um, and, and basically plan out what it is that you're trying to get across. <clears throat> what is the underlying issue here for Virgos? Underlying issue for Virgos. Hmm. The world. Saturn energy. There's something I feel like um, th you haven't learned yet. Or you're needing to take heed to. The world is all about karma. It's the planet of karma. Saturn. Taking your experiences and learning from them. There's something that's lingering. What is it that you're missing? I feel like you're missing something here. I'm, I'm seeing that like, um, don't overreact. Take your time. Really look at things for what they really are. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy here. What was going on in the recent past for Scorpio? Scorpio? Where's Scorpio come from? <laughs> Is there Scorpio here? What was going on in the recent past for Virgos? Eight of Pentacles. You were just working. You're just minding your own business. I feel like somebody has infiltrated your space. Somebody has come into, come into um, your circle. Because you were minding your business. But I think somebody has either said something to you, um, done something to you, gestured something. It's something that you feel, I feel kind of offended by. And there is a need here not to overreact and really articulate what it is that you need to say. So you can get shit done the right way. Okay. Crowning thoughts for Virgos. Crowning thoughts for Virgos. Death. I feel like you guys are thinking about ending something here. You're thinking about ending something. I do feel that a lot of you guys, you feel like, okay, I can't just blurt out things. I can't just um, react off of raw feelings. I really need to, you know, change that up a little bit here with death because death is all about transformation and change as well. Um, I need to uh, respond and not react so quickly. Why does my camera seem crooked? Does it seem crooked to you guys? I don't like when it does. That Scorpio energy there, that death energy. You're thinking about your actions. I think your first mind is like to just jump the gun and just do something, right? That's like what you usually would want to do 
it's like, okay, I feel this shit. I'm about to rectify this shit right now. But then you're like, no, I, I've done that shit before. Um, that hasn't really worked out so well. Maybe I just need to kind of take a chill pill. Think about what it is that I need to get across in this situation. What's coming in for Virgos? Queen of Cups. This is this is you coming out of this transformation, um, being more willing to compromise, willing to listen, to not overreact in situations, give somebody a chance here. I feel like there's somebody, for a lot of you, this has everything to do with a job, okay? Um, but for most of you, this is like you guys starting to date or you're seeing somebody or you're in a relationship where, you know, you're, you're really trying to change up how you do things. I feel. You're really trying to get out of that mode of overreacting and try responding for once. Thinking about what you want to do. What do you really want to accomplish here? This Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Scorpio is strong here for some of you guys. Very strong here for some of you. There is something that you really care about or beginning to care about here. I'm going to fix this camera. <laughs> it's bothering me. How is Virgo feeling about this situation? Two of Swords. Huh. You're on the fence. I, I think something, something has like got you unsure there's something that's making you like rethink things just not making a decision about it i think you need time to evaluate for some of you you need time to cool off because there's something that has really disturbed your peace this is libra energy here with the two of swords there's something that has really disturbed your peace. I am going to pause this and I'm going to fix this camera because I cannot take it, okay? Hang on one second, guys. Anyway, I don't know why it looks so out of whack to me, but um, there, whatever. Okay, so what is an influence here for Virgo? The Tower. There's a situation here where um, I think a lot of you are scared because you've been through a shit storm before. And that's Scorpio energy. I think somebody really kind of tore you down, whether it is on a job or whether in a relationship, more so a relationship. I feel like you guys weren't seen, you weren't heard, you were hurt, you broke up with someone. And this situation that is here now for you with somebody new in particular, I feel like you guys are hyper vigilant. You're on guard with this person because you've been through some shit is the thing. And I see you looking at that and thinking that shit will not happen to me again. So you're showing a hyper vigilant attitude towards this current situation, but every situation is not like our past situation. And it's hard to kind of like compartmentalize what it is that we've actually been through to keep it separate from future and present experiences and not to let that carry over. And I think that's what you're fighting with is not allowing that to carry over. It's like CPTSD and that's complex post-traumatic stress disorder when you have been through a horrible relationship it's like having PTSD it's like as soon as somebody says something to you you're ready to shoot their ass with your words you know 
hopes or fears for Virgo. Hopes or fears for Virgo. Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, rather. Hmm. I feel like you guys definitely want to be in control. I do feel like this is a situation that you find attractive to you. You see longevity here. Um, you know this person is caring. But you're still wearing your hurt all over you is the thing. I feel that you want to be more in control this time. And not wear your heart on your sleeve. Not be so vulnerable to allow someone to basically destroy you. Is what I see here. Overall outcome for Virgos. Overall outcome for Virgo. Okay. Look at this. Did you see it jumping when I was shuffling? Ten of Cups. Happy times ahead, friends. Loving, emotionally supportive relationship. Emotionally fulfilling relationship here. That Piscean energy. Love it. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you and namaste.